In addition to working with processes, another common administrative task is managing those disk quotas. And basically, just a brief overview, we're going to talk about the requirements of these disk quotas and some different things that you might need to take into consideration when using disk quotas. So, first of all, disk quotas have been around for a pretty long time. Ever since users started storing files remotely on servers. And the reason that disk quotas came about is because users were consuming so much disk space that they would ultimately push each other out of disk space. So you might have one user that's using 150 megabytes where a different user is using 10 gigabytes. And obviously the user consuming 10 gigabytes probably doesn't need that much information on the server. So Linux came up with a way to manage that. They implemented these disk quotas that basically says user A can only have this much disk space. If user A exceeds that amount of disk space, there are a couple of different things that can happen. Basically, you can have two different types of limits and something called a grace period. A hard limit is the absolute maximum amount of disk space that a user or associated group can use. Now, once you meet that hard limit, you cannot store any more information. You're going to get error messages such as quota limit exceeded or disk is out of space. Now, on the flip side of that, if you're a little bit nicer and have a little bit more disk space to spare, you can implement a soft limit just before you reach your hard limit. Now, soft limit also has a component that goes with it called a grace period. The soft limit allows you to store a large amount of information. Now, once you've exceeded your limit, it lets you continue to exceed your limit until you reach your hard limit. So you might say, I really don't want my users using more than 350 megabytes, but I absolutely can't have them using more than 500 megabytes. So we might set a soft limit at 350 megabytes, a hard limit at 500, and give them a grace period of five days. And that basically means that they will have five days to drop below the soft limit before they will be penalized. So this allows them some level of flexibility. It also allows them to be alerted to the fact that, hey, you're going to run out of disk space. You need to clean things up a little bit. That way they're not abruptly met with a denied message. So quotas can only be set on specific file systems. A good general rule is using the user's home directories on a centralized location. Now the trick is you actually have to have the home directory on its own file system, preferably on its own physical disk on the machine in order for quotas to be effective. There are three steps and one optional step to setting these quotas. The first step is to create the aquota.user and aquota.group depending on what your goal is using the touch command. Now, if you want to do quotas based on user counts, then you're only going to need the aquota.user. If you plan on grouping them together, which is always the better idea, you're going to want to go with the aquota.group file and the aquota.user. Now, once you have that set up, you're going to go ahead and move over to the FS tab. Just use a simple text editor, for example, to open that up. And you're going to add an entry into the FS tab under the actual default column, which is where you would see entries such as defaults, individual ID numbers and modes and things like that. So you'll go in there, you'll make that change, you'll add in user quota and or group quota. You're going to have to drop and remount the file system. And then you're going to go ahead and add users using the ed quota command. So once you've reached that point, you're actually going to be implementing those quotas. Now the f fourth and optional step is to run the quota check. And basically, quota check command will allow you to refresh your file system, if you will, and update the operating system so it knows exactly how much disk space it has. And finally, as we mentioned, we have those grace periods available to us for our soft limits, where our hard limits are going to be a full-on restriction against storing information beyond the limits that have been set.